Hi guys, my name is Debbie Min. I'm coming to you from LA, California. I am Collins College class of 2011. I just finished my master's from Collins last year as well. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the perfect sushi rice. So stay tuned. You want to start by choosing a really good short grain rice. And then you're going to pour it onto a strainer. We're going to wash it three, four times. Use your fingers, go through it really well. And we're going to soak it for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we're going to drain it. For those of you who have a rice cooker, put the rice in. Since it's been soaked for 30 minutes, you can do ratio 1 to 1. But, to those of you who don't have a rice cooker, I got your back because I'm going to show you how to make it in a pot. Try not to use sink water and use a filtered water. The ratio is 1 to 1. Here's my real secret. 2 tablespoons of olive oil. Put it on high heat. You want to put it for three minutes once it starts boiling. Another important tip is not to be tempted to open up the lid because once you open it, the steam will go out and you will ruin the cooking time. Then you want to put it on low heat for 15 minutes. After that, you want to give it a really good fluff. Take it off the heat for five minutes. Now, you want to put the rice inside a bowl. It doesn't have to be this bowl. It can be any type of bowl, metal bowl, ceramic bowl, any type of bowl. Now, get the sushi vinegar. Then, I'm going to spread it with the rice paddle like so. So the ratio is 2 cups rice to 0.5 cup of the sushi vinegar. Spin a minute or two, you want to flip it like this. And then, kind of spread it out and let the vinegar air out for a little bit. But there you go, here's the sushi rice. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial from your Collins College family. Be safe and be well. Until next time, bye.